Peggy 16. The thing that's really exciting to me about this story is that it's got high stakes, but the stakes are not about saving the universe. They're personal stakes. What if I don't succeed? What if it's not a happy ending? What if I don't win? We said, let's take you to a place where there are no rules. And what does that mean? And then what do you do there? You know, you have to compromise your moral compass a little bit mm -hmm. uh, to see through this reckoning with the folks who killed Cade Six. Mm -hmm. When you boil it down, it's really a revenge story, right? Something terrible happens to one of the most beloved characters in the Destiny universe. Huh. That's a good job, Colonel. All the humor and fun and roguish charm that was uh, brought to bear, having that yanked away from us yeah. is unlike anything we've done in this franchise mm -hmm. yet. Anyone want a hug? Hugs? No? No hugs. It feels like it's just done for shock value at the start, but it's not. I think it makes the world feel rich. You start to see the way characters are reacting to that death and the, and the vacuum that leaves in the universe. I just think about how I feel when I think about Kate dying because I love that character so much. Hey, 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 easy, easy. You're gonna blow a boat. We've always liked Aldrin as a bad guy because he, he's so shifty. Like, even in D1, you don't know if he's actually a good guy or a bad guy. There is no shame in running away, Guardian. It was really exciting for us to have a villain that looked like something that was recognizable and that that made it, the stakes were even more kind of grounded in something that is easy to understand. He's not a giant monster. All the characters in this release are, are conflicted in some way and that they all have some internal conflict that they're trying to resolve. The origin point for all the Barons was how do we create a kind of twisted Western archetype. If we look at, say, those Western movies like Sukiyaki Django and Seven Samurai, or uh, The Good, Bad, and The Ugly, each one of their characters, the baddies that you eventually fight, has a persona that you can't mistake it for anyone else. If you think about the Mad Bomber who's throwing grenades and they're bouncing off walls and stuff like that, that can you can also kind of squint your eyes and think about that as the bandito with a bunch of dynamite across his chest. The rider who's driving around a pike, well, you could think about that as a horse rustler, right? So each baron, we really try to pull some Western archetypes, but then twist it in this Destiny universe. When Aldrin is flanked by these folks, you can have it on a poster on your wall and be like, yeah, I'm ready to take my mark and mark them and say, I killed all of them, one by one, because it makes you feel good to actually, you know, hunt them and actually track them down. I'm gonna go after them, right? Like, I'm gonna crawl on my horse and cross the Wild West and kick down the door and be like, you killed Cade, and put a bullet in him. It's gonna be great. Destiny 2, available now. Get exclusive Destiny 2 content on PlayStation 4. For the players.